Starting? Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Eric Jolson. I work for uh, Storage Made Easy. Um, we're a software company uh, that provides data management. Um, we provide access to your data. We provide data governance, uh, security. Um, so what we don't do um, is we don't provide storage. We, we simply make it easy, right? Um, so why, why I'm here today is to talk about you have Ceph deployed in your infrastructure today. Um, you're using it maybe for your virtual machines uh, as a back end. You could use it as object storage uh, through Swift interface. Um, but what we can provide is a tool to use Ceph for secure data uh, delivery, uh, to deliver documents securely inside your corporation, but also outside with external parties. So what Ceph provides uh, is not why I'm here. Uh, there's a plenty of good talks both today and tomorrow uh, that you should attend. But in short, uh, Ceph is an open software-defined storage platform. Uh, it's scale-out architecture. It runs on commodity hardware. Um, it's designed for you know, running your cloud infrastructure. And it provides extreme availability uh, and durability of your data. So um, over to what does Storage Made Easy provide. So Storage Made Easy. Um, it's a collection of tools uh, working together. Um, one thing we provide is um, content indexing. So any data you write into our platform or that we pick up from backend storage, uh, we index the content and we provide a searchable interface through uh, Apache Solar. Uh, we let you tag your data. So you can add tags to classify your data. And even more, we let you um, provide key value pairs for your data. So you can, you can categorize uh, those tags also. Um, and we do all of this uh, on multiple clouds. So take multiple clouds, multiple private, public, internal, external, uh, run SME in front, and we put all your data through a single pane of glass. So in addition, uh, we provide governance and compliance requirements. And this often means encryption. So turn on encryption for encryption in flight, uh, regardless of storage platform. Uh, turn on encryption at rest, uh, regardless of storage platform. Uh, we provide auditing. So who downloaded my file where, when, from where. Uh, we can provide your compliance department with EC filter data, Excel file output they can easily consume. Uh, of course, also external syslog servers uh, for long-term archiving and, and search. Uh, but more interestingly today, uh, secure file sharing. So you can password protect links. You can time expiry links. Uh, you can limit the number of downloads. So maybe a link is only good for two downloads or three downloads. Uh, we provide the governance around this sharing. So you can set policies. Maybe as a user, I cannot share a file without putting a password on it. Uh, we can GOIP uh, lock down these files. So unless I'm in the right network, I can't access it. Um, maybe certain data requires a two-factor. So when you send out the email uh, with a sharing link, the contact needs to have an a phone number associated with them, and they will get a text message uh, with a one-time password. Uh, we provide file versioning, locking, uh, trash, and once again, regardless of backend. Uh, so what would file sharing be without collaboration? Uh, and it would be email. You attach your file, you send it, and you, you can never control what happens to the data if anyone read the email, if it even made it to the recipient. So with SME, we can share data through project workspaces or data rooms. So any user can create a virtual room, invite other members, internal or external, uh, and share a common view of data. Uh, we provide web office editing. 
So edit your Word documents inside a browser. Uh, same thing with PDFs, do drawings, annotations. Uh, you can share whole folders, uh, bookmark links. Uh, you can add comments on files. So once you get a file, you can add a, a thread of comments uh, outside the data itself. Uh, you can even attach files as a comment to other files. Um, so Ceph, uh, highly scalable, uh, multi-tenant storage system. So is SME. So you have an ISP or an appliance admin that manage the companies and the tenants of the appliance itself. Um, every company or organization will have a, an admin class of users that manage the company's features and the company's users. And then you can delegate roles that lets other users in your company uh, manage subsets of users or subsets of storage. Um, and just like Ceph, uh, SME is highly available. So we scale upwards and outwards, add appliances sideways to increase throughput, um, multi-master database replication on the back end, um, and also a multiple access methods. So you can connect through FTP protocols and native client protocols. So you can provide mount points for Linux, Windows, Mac, access to data on the iPad, and the same ACLs, the same data views, the same search features are available throughout all the clients. So uh, maybe enough PowerPoints. Uh, I'm going to try to run you through a few of these uh, file sharing features we have. So I'm going to leave, leave my PowerPoint um, and see if we can get through this on Wi-Fi in this, in this room today. So the first thing I want to show uh, is a simple file sharing. And this is, can everybody see? Is it too small? Is it OK? Good. Uh, so over here, uh, I have my Ceph, Ceph root as a storage system. Um, I have two, two buckets managed right now. Um, and I have some sub subfolders and files, just standard, standard file stuff. So I pick up a file. Um, it highlights. I can create a quick, quick link to share. Um, I cop copy that link, and go into a private window, uh, no longer authenticated, and immediately um, the file will be downloaded. So pretty simple. Uh, with no, no restrictions, I could have been anywhere in the world uh, to open that Word document. Um, so the difference from a, a Dropbox or Google Drive account here is the data resides inside your firewall, inside your IT organization. You have security and auditing available. So a little more sensitive, so we create secure sharing links. So let's pick another uh, document if I have it. I'll pick my sample document here. I go to sharing menu. I will still want to share by URL. Um, maybe I will only allow, let's say, two, two hours worth of downloads. I will only let you download this document once. And I want a one-time password. Quick generate link. You can see a few other symbols here showing how long the link is valid. Uh, there's a password set, etc. I copy that link. Once again, I'm back in my private view. Now, this time when I paste it, uh, I will be met uh, by a screen showing, you know, I have to enter my one time password. So even if the link is compromised, not anyone can access this data. Same thing, file is downloaded uh, once the password is entered. Um, pretty simple so far. So in addition to this, um, 
if you have a Mac, for instance. Um, let's take this window. So here, I have installed a Mac client. So I now have a, a virtual hard drive out here, which is my storage made easy drive. Um, let me go find my folder. Uh, so this is a live uh, production system. I have a folder called Eric. I have a Word document with a shell extension. I can simply right click um, this file. Let's create a share link. And I have the same functionality here. I put an expiration. I can put a password. I can limit the number of downloads. Uh, so this is available for all platforms also. So you can do it from your iPad. You can do it from your Linux machine. You can do it from your, from your Windows PC. Um, what else am I showing today? OK. So, so to take this one step further, you don't, even, you don't want them to download a file at all. But you, you need to share a file. Um, and maybe you want input from someone. So we have a feature called Share for Edit. So I'll pick a different, um, different file called Cover Letter in this case. I go back to my sharing menu by URL or email. I'll pick email this time. Um, yes, yeah, so we change it a little. Uh, I want to share it with my Gmail address. I have it right there. Um, please open. I'll create a link. Create the link uh, for edit. Um, I don't have to set a password on this link now. I'll send that email. And depending on the speed, um, we should refresh the screen. Eric has shared a file with you. My HR cover letter. Um, I click the link. And it takes a second. And there we go an online uh, editor uh, compatible with Word documents. I um, can go ahead. I can edit this. There, Eric. Um, don't know how much else we want to do. Um, I save my file back to the cloud. So very much like a uh, Google Doc, Microsoft Office online editor. Uh, for your Word documents. Um, once again, uh, on-premise, uh, controlled by your internal IT, doc, IT organization. Um, in addition to this, uh, if they're internal authenticated users, um, we can also share documents for multiple people editing at the same time. So true multi-user editing um, that does not take a lock while this happens. So when you share it for single user, uh, we do lock the file on the back end so we don't get uh, multiple versions. I will close there. Um, so the last, last thing I touched on it earlier. If I pick a folder, maybe I want to share this whole folder um, We'll do a URL. So do I want to make it writable uh, for the recipient? So we call that drop folder. So I'm going to create the drop folder. Um, I have an option to hide the files if I want to use this as an FTP uploader. Uh, in this case, no. I want to share the file, but still let, let the recipient write files and add content to the folder. In this case, we, we enforce a password so that no one uploads a terabyte of data for you. So I will put in a password. I will create my link. It's generated there. Copy. We open up another browser. Uh, enter your password. Oh. Wonder what I typed in. Hmm. See if I can re recreate that link. I must have mistyped something here. Uh, I pick my folder, I share. 
want to make this a drop folder. We generate the link, copy. So now as an unauthenticated uh, external user, I get a similar folder view where I can see all the files in the folder. So just to compare, um, if I go into my picture folder, I can see the same objects. Um, what I don't see, I don't see the previews, I don't see the folder tree because I don't have access. Um, I can still, of course, open a file. I can look at the picture. Um, and since I marked this as a drop folder, um, as the recipient of the link, I can pick, pick one of my, my images and I can add to the collection. So I can upload and, and contribute to this directory. Uh, leave that page. Still have a few minutes. Um, so when you come back as a user, you might forget what you've done. Um, so we also have a link where you can, you can look at your shared links. So you can bring up and see what has been shared. Um, we show you on, an, on this icon over here, there's a little URL overlay. It might not show that this folder looks different, uh, but, but here you can see it. And of course, picking any of these documents, um, when we look at the information about it, uh, you can see that they're shared. So let me pick a Word file that I shared. Um, you can see right over here, one hour and 59 minutes left, one download, and it's password protected. And if I want to cancel the link earlier, I simply, simply remove the link and it's no longer valid. So very simple. Um, create your own internal sharing site, uh, both for receiving files, sharing files, editing files, uh, together online and all, all by using your existing uh, Ceph that you once deployed uh, to run virtual machines on. So no additional storage infrastructure, simply drop in uh, the SME product. So uh, I think I've uh, covered what I came here to talk about. Um, I can give you a much uh, bigger demo, show you all the other features uh, that we provide uh, in addition to the, the simple sharing. Uh, we are over in booth C7 in the opposite corner of the hall. Um, can do some really, really advanced stuff. I'm happy to do demos all afternoon. Uh, so please come back to the booth. Is there any questions now? Or... No? Perfect. Thank you so much.